So you guys may or may not have noticed I haven't been making as many YouTube videos and the big reason behind that is I don't wanna just post stuff for the sake of posting stuff. Now that being said, I'm still filming everything down here. I'm still making great progress in my own training, adding weight each and every session. But I've been taking some of those clips that I would normally just throw on YouTube with some bland commentary on top and I've been posting it to this app called One Set, which is really a fitness focused app. And I first heard about this through Bart Kwan. Since then I've seen a couple other YouTubers mention it and I follow some of them here on the app itself. But again, really focus on fitness. So you can post pictures, you can post videos, you can post text updates if you want. And then like if you put up a video of you squatting, you can tag things like quads, hamstrings, legs, so people can search for similar exercises. You can even tag calves in here if you train them, which I, my friends, of course you know, do not do that. But it's pretty sweet. I actually have a community as well, so there's different communities you can join and share your pictures and progress and interact with people. Some people have actually already joined the Campbell Fitness community, which is cool because it gives me a chance to see what you're doing and kind of talk to you on a closer level than other social media sites where it's just very diluted and I have trouble following that because I'm an old man and I can't keep up with all this fancy technology. But that being said, if you have an Apple or Android phone and you want to jump on this, I definitely recommend it. Make sure you follow me and join my community and talk to me because I need some friends. Checking in with some more feels to share with you on this program. Now, as I already said, this is going really well, but I want to share with you some of the mental aspect that seems to be messing with me. Number one is squatting three times per week. So again, some background, I train three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, each one of those sessions I am squatting. I'm also benching on all of those sessions and two out of those three sessions, I am deadlifting. Now, traditionally speaking, I'm really accustomed to four or five day splits and some moderate volume. The volume in these sessions and this block in general is tremendously higher than what I'm used to. And add on to the fact that I'm only training three times per week, these sessions can be very brutal on me mentally and physically. So they take anywhere from two to three hours in most cases to get through. Now that being said, again, speaking of how I have my own tendencies, I find that after squatting, 48 hours later is when I feel the most banged up. So that next day after squatting isn't so bad, it's that second day after where I feel worse. And it just so happens to be the way that this program is set up, it has me squatting again on those days. So I squat Monday, by Wednesday I feel pretty awful, up surprise, have to squat again. Then Friday rolls around, two days after Wednesday session, feeling pretty beat up, up surprise, have to squat again. So it's taken me a little bit to get into these workouts just mentally, just because my body doesn't feel up to it. Once I start getting to my working sets, I haven't had a problem, just a little bit slow and methodical getting there to get warmed up. And speaking of warmed up, as you can tell from this session that you're seeing today, it's getting pretty cool up here in Rhode Island, wearing the sweatshirt, the beanie, also have some leggings on under my normal gear just to help keep my body warm. And it has helped a little bit, but it's gonna be interesting come January or so what I'm going to do. I do have some space heaters, but not sure they're going to be overly effective for how large this space is. So first thing is, is just getting my body prepared. And it's going okay. The other thing that's been a struggle, which is actually, depending on how you look at it, a good or bad thing, is the weights I've been using. So this particular session you're watching is from a Monday session, five total sets of eight with the last set being an AMRAP. And again, the reason we do AMRAPs in this program is it basically dictates how much weight you're going to use the following week's session. It's gonna bump it up from anywhere to five to 15 pounds. In some cases, if I got less on the AMRAPs that I did during the working sets, which hopefully should never happen, it might even scale the weight back. So it really auto-regulates itself. The problem is, is I've been making such good progress on here is each week I'm bumping the weight up five to 15 pounds. And from what I thought was heavy the previous week, having to match that in terms of both over total all volume and then hitting an AMRAP set after, it's been a very daunting task. And again, initially going into the workout itself, speaking of being sore and achy from my body, taking a little bit while to get used to it, the weather's a little bit colder, I never feel like I'm going to be able to perform at a high level. I worry about hitting all the sets and reps and let alone having to deal with that AMRAP, it's always a daunting task. But that being said, by the time I get through the session, I always find that I'm adding reps on those AMRAP sets, thus continuing the progress and continuing like, to add weight. So definitely happy with the way the program is. Again, it's just different because I'm not used to it, but making progress is key here. And I'm glad that I'm making it at all, especially on things with squats, which probably never actually felt better. And that's weird because I'm doing a lot of high bar squatting, which traditionally speaking, I hate. 
The switch to low bar will be awesome because I feel like my low bar is gonna get a huge boost. I'm just a little hesitant because I'm sure it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to get more familiar with that as I literally haven't low bar squatted in probably like three months. So it should be interesting. So overall, that's my session for this particular day on squats, sharing some feels with you. Again, if you wanna check out some of the stuff I haven't been posting, make sure you follow me on one set. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching and stay big.